Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We're here in the Southorn Ruins. In the still world and we are looking for tries friends so that we can you know join with them to to undo this rift Thank you. I guess that's how you're supposed to gain that echo, the Ignizol echo, if you aren't able to find it in that cave where I found it. Dark Nut Echo. <sighs> All the way back in the original Legend of Zelda game, they mistranslated the uh, you know you know, the name Dark Knight only with a, an extremely heavy Japanese accent as Dark Nut, and they've basically been running with that now for forty years. <laughs> Both Dark Knights and P-Hats require three bits of try. That's... that's wild. I like the ropes. Only one bit of try. And they are pretty aggressive attackers. Whoa, don't want to go that way. Well, maybe I do want to go that way, but I can't. X instead of Y this time. Last time I hit Y instead of X. Now I'm hitting X instead of Y. went the other direction. He went to the right. Here's the rolly guy. Huh? 
I figured I had to light all the torches. I mean, isn't that always the puzzle when you see a bunch of, a bunch of torches like this? Okay, so far so good. There are the shield, the rest of them don't. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. But goody, oh, missed. Hearts. That means there's a boss fight coming up. They finally gave me some healing. Ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest. Oh, wait a second. Oh. A little bit stuck there for a moment. Alrighty, boss fight coming up. This is where we faced off against Ganon when we were still Link. Hmm. Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Yep. 
Over here. Over here. made him mad. <laughs> Missing him. Okay. Did I just kill Link? Oh, I hope I didn't. That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. You got a mysterious sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had. The name Link is engraved on it. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword. Even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Brace sword. Push up on the D-pad. By the power of Grayskull! Mm. 
You look strong. Like that guy who wears green. Raise your sword with up on the D-pad to enter sword fighter mode. Once transformed, you can attack with Y. While transformed, defend with your shield by pressing and holding ZL. You can also jump higher than usual in this form with B. Finally, hold down Y to charge your sword and then release it for a spin attack. You got some energy. You feel a mysterious might growing within you. Oops, right in midair. While in sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left corner of the screen will decrease. You'll automatically exit sword fighter form after the energy gauge is depleted. You can also exit this form by pressing up on the D-pad. You can refill your energy gauge by gathering blue energy. supposed to do that, is it? Oh. Maybe it is. Okay, this is definitely the slow way to do this. You got a heart pin. This hair pin has a distinctive heart design. It makes hearts appear a little more often. You can wear different items that will have a variety of benefits. You can equip these items from the plus menu under equipment. Oh yeah? Let's see, heart appearance up. Heart pin. Hair pin with a distinctive heart design makes hearts appear a little more often. Okay, I could certainly use that. up here. Okay. Okay, that's the boss door right there. Okay. Hmm. This place is a lot bigger than it looks. 
Bigger than I expected, I should rather say. These kind of faded areas, like he right here, those are areas that are behind the rifts, aren't they? No, I can't go this way because I don't have any keys. That's the way I came, so there's no point to it. Might as well go this way. Baba Echo! Okay, looks like my only choice there is using Sword Fighter. Can you get out of the way? Thank you. Oh, there's another one. Okay. treasure chest up and a treasure chest left so one of them obviously has to have the key that lets me go to the right the torches there seem to be a dead giveaway Exactly like I thought it did. More money! Yep. I figured this was the uh, non essential one. Do these things have sword fighter power in them, perhaps? Nope.
this work? What do you know? I wonder if that's how you're supposed to do that. I feel like there's got to be a, another way. But offhand, I can't think of one. Well, not important. As long as you get it done, that's all that really matters. fairy in the one bottle I've got. Anything down below, I wonder? Oh yeah, Zelda! There's one more thing you can do when using Bind. After binding yourself to something with X, try holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you are bound to. When using bind, press and hold R to follow the motion of whatever you've bound yourself to. Too far to the left. Uh, just barely. Ow. He got away. I'm hopping mad. cost me any life power. Just a few rupees. Meh. No. Don't get on that blast of things, Zelda. I can jump high enough to get it onto the switch, so...
There we go. Boss key, am I right? I am right. The big key. Now you can open the big door. Well, game, you can call it the big key if you want. I'm just going to keep calling it the boss key. Seriously, how can I get more of that sword fighter power? I have a feeling it's going to feature prominently during this boss fight coming up. Alright. Out of curiosity. You can now use amiibo. Select amiibo from system in the plus menu and tap a figure to receive items that can aid you in your adventure. Eh. I mean, sure, I could do that. Let's do a quick save instead. Nobody here? But I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Seismic Talus. My friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. Okay, he's mad now. It's on his forehead. Ow. Get. Oh, darn it, stop that. Out, come on. Oh, ah, come on.
Why were there two of us? Uh, I tried to jump over that. Come on, get out! Ah! Okay, I think I've done it. Whew, alright. That wasn't too bad, but it got kind of frustrating how it was just wasn't working right. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this! Light tornado. Gosh, wouldn't have wanted to forget that one last little detail. My friends shared some of their power with me. Ah, now he is quad and rather rather than try. I feel like I can do even more now. Try gained a uh, triangle. Press Y to create all sorts of echoes. That's what I've been doing, game. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, also, they told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up where we fix rifts. They're neat, so I'll give them to you, Zelda. You got five unusual crystals from Tri. I just noticed the Swordfighter gauge also says level one. Hmm. I'm all finished up here, so we can head out now if you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. Q 
course, I don't want to forget the heart container. I'm not doing a challenge run here. We can travel between still the still world and your world here. Do you want to return to your world now? Not yet. Let's check the map. What about these areas? These kind of grayed out areas. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, those are first floor versus second floor. Huh, okay. Well, never mind then. Do you want to return to your world now? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Hmm. You know, they said at the start, you know, when the game was first announced, they rather implied that you weren't going to be using a sword the same way Link did. And yet, that's... That was instrumental to winning that boss fight. So, uh, I, mean, I guess I can see the point. But I think I would have preferred if this was all just one huge puzzle game. Still, not bad at all. The rift that was here is gone now. Which means we can reach the place you were trying to go to earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts, and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah? You there, a moment of your time. Uh? I am Left, the Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? <laughs> oh, Princess Zelda? I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Uh, why are you wearing that? We'll see a fake you, and a fake general, and a fake king popped out of the rifts when you were sucked into it, and accused me of making the rifts and tried to have me killed. So now I'm disguising myself. So, we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Try accompanied you this whole time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Try. You can see me. <laughs> Who could miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Yeah. Oh, so Lady Impa couldn't see you. How odd. <laughs> she must be a relative then, even if only a distant one. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? If I recall correctly... Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. up here then. Over here, princess. Let's travel together, shall we? Okay, we can't go in there. Not right now, at least.
Okay, there's a fairy over there. Hi. Right in here, princess. <laughs> Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get! Blueberry? I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, it will only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out... I said no! I've got to go save Link! Hmm? Hang on here. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him well? Yes, he saved me in blah blah blah. What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and everything you know about the swordsman. Yada yada yada. Hmm. I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Phew, we finally got through to him. All right, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Well, maybe that's changed now that uh, you've leveled up, Try Or Quad. You know what? I'm going to call you Quad from now on. get another one and I'll start calling you Pen. Uh, anyway, you know, Quad was level one, but now Quad's level two, so more power, maybe more people can see him. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure, but back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts change people somehow. Oh, yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lubury. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Lubury, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace. After which, townsfolk would say they'd been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folk from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword. One that's effective against the Rift Monsters. The Sword of Might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the Rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of Rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet the rifts keep coming. Clearly we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey Zelda, I'm going to fly up high to look for some of the other big rifts. Going right through the ceiling, are you? 
I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts. Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lubury. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. That's Quad, Mr. Your name is Quad now. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who have gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Hi. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. <sighs> princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul waters. Please let me know if you require further information. <sighs> Alright, Princess. I leave it to you to find the King, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you got there? Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Alright. Main quest complete. Main quest searching for everyone. The King of Hyrule and the others might be inside lar different large rifts. Head to the rifts in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Okay, looks like things are starting to open up a little bit. Anything down here? Give me that bomb. Come on. Blueberry's Diary is here. Entry 1. The crystal I unearthed at a rift site, what I'm now calling a mite crystal, has strange power. The monsters that sprang from the rift seem repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I've developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals as well as enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. Keep reading. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in Southern Village tell me that Link was among the group of kids who were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. All of the kids who were taken by the rifts have lost something. For Link, he lost the ability to speak. Oh, put a lampshade on a game. Go ahead. Despite all he's been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me. This young man would be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow I'll visit Southorn Village again. Keep reading. The Sword of Might I entrusted to Link packs a wallop against those rift monsters, as I hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster, who we believe is creating the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more Might Crystals. Keep reading. Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings came through clear as day. I've decided to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue to help Link. Keep reading. Link stopped by. He's off to defeat that blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as best as I am able. I gave him some other weapons too. Yet, I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. Okay, looks like that's all of it. I'm running low on time for the episode, but I can still talk to these two. You want to chat about the sword, eh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching the type of, a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. 
Aha! And it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it Mite Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigations into the rifts, I met Link, who's from Southorn Village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I've continued forging things with Mite Crystals. See that machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. Eh? Looking at the sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you'll need to do is bring me some Mite Crystals. Enhancing Weaponry. Check the machine in Lewberry's house to enhance your weapons using Mite Crystals. I'll be here helping Mr. Lewberry investigate the rifts so we can better support you. Princess, how can I help? Tell me about the rifts. Mm. Right now, there are large rifts in Jabul Waters and the Gerudo Desert. Yeah. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. Jabul Waters? Uh. Jabul Waters is northeast of here. It's home to the Zora, who are remarkable swimmers. The residents are divided into the Sea Zora and the River Zora. Mm. On the coast, soon after entering Jabul Waters, there is a small Hylian fishing village. I'm sure the villagers there will have interesting morsels to share with you about the local area. Yeah. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. Gerudo Desert? Mm -hmm. Gerudo Desert is west of us. It's a harsh land with high temperatures and sandstorms. Skilled warriors known as the Gerudo live in a town far into the desert. Oh yes, I almost forgot to mention, they're all women, not a man among them. Oh. They're often on patrol near the desert entrance, so you may want to talk to them there. Yeah. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. Thank you. Let's talk. Uh, I keep thinking about His Majesty, the General, and Link. Mm. I hope that by mending the rift, they'll be returned to us. Okay, that's about everything, I guess. Uh. What do you want to enhance? Energy? I need 10 mite crystals from you. Okay. You don't have enough mite crystals. Do I really want to spend my all my crystals on this? I only have five. And this would cost all of them. Let's save that for later. Well, this seems like a good time to end the video, actually. Huh. But yeah, it looks like things are opening up slightly. We have two choices for areas we can go to. The obvious choices to make are... The obvious choice to make is uh, you know, the Gerudo Desert. Yeah. How could I get up to here, though? Well, I could go... You know, obviously, I could just go north up through here, looks like. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm going to have to do both eventually, I'm sure. So I guess I'll, you know, start with the one that's right next to us. But I think that'll be the next episode. For now, viewers, thank you very much for watching. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. In the next episode, as I said, we're going to head to Gerudo Desert and see what we can see. Later! Later!